it's me, Tina, the girl in the garden, and we're still talking squash for Squash Timber. Um, most of the time people get lots of squash. Oh, I don't know why my nose always starts to itch when I start to record. Crazy. Anyway, so we've showed you a couple um, recipes. Today I'm going to show you how to make this into a chip. We're going to dehydrate squash today and we're going to season it first. We're going to slice it, season it, dehydrate it, and then we're going to show you what it comes out like. So basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to slice it with my mandolin. So I'm going to make sure I have my glove on and I did not, oh, sorry, my nose is itching. Anyway, so I left the skin on. So that's what this bowl is right here. It's a vinegar uh, water bath to clean the squash. Um, I'm going to wear my handy dandy safety glove so I don't chop my fingers, slice them on the mandolin. And I have the mandolin set at the, the thinnest it can go slice wise. And I have it sitting on top of a bowl. So then I can just take it out of the bowl. So that me, oops, see it, grab the um, glove a little bit. So please be careful if that's what you're gonna do. Okay, now just to kind of show you the slice pieces. They're pretty thin, okay? And I put them on parchment paper Yes, this was used to dry zucchini. Um, I put it on parchment paper because they're so thin, they'll stick to the wire. It'd be very difficult to get off. But on the parchment paper, you can like roll it up and break it off, right? So that's where I'm gonna put them on. And I'm gonna do some with salt and pepper. And I'm gonna do some with, um, I think it's a buttery steak sauce, a uh, steak seasoning, and uh, then I think I have some ranch up there. Let me look and see. So, and the reason why you might want to do this is if you're overloaded with zucchini, um, you might need another way to use it if you're tired of eating fresh zucchini and you want. Maybe a, a little light snack. Zucchi dry, dehydrated zucchini is as healthy as eating it raw. Let's see. Oh, this is ranch. All right. Oh, my nose is still itching. Sorry. So I slice up about a half of zucchini. And I have a little bit left, but that's how I laid it out here. Got this pack of ranch seasoning. I think I'm just gonna put a little bit in my hand. And I'm gonna use my fingertips just to kind of sprinkle over it. I don't know, I've never done these before with ranch, so I don't know how much seasoning I actually need on these. But I'm not gonna add any salt or pepper. Let's move you over, bowl. So yeah, the USDA has some guidelines about dehydrating and the nutrition value of those items that you dehydrate. And um, so anyway, um, they're pretty nutritious. They'll be nice and crunchy. It'll be like, um, like a potato chip, but probably thinner. And then I just am going to stick this in my dehydrator at 125 Fahrenheit until they're crispy. So depending on the weather, I mean, when the day it was kind of rainy and overcast here, it took me, you know, forever to get them to dehydrate. But I'm gonna put them on four hours to start with. <coughs> Excuse me, goodness sakes, I'm having all kinds of issues today. Then I'm gonna check them and see where they're at. I'm gonna put them back in if they are not crispy. I want them crispy, okay? So 
Now that you kind of know the process, let me get this done and get it loaded up, get them turned on, and I'll be back when we have crispy zucchini chips. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll be right back. All right, we are back. Zucchini chips. So, um, basically, let me show you. Okay, pick them up here. See how easy that just snaps like a chip. Yay. All right. I have a clean jar. This is just a ragu jar that's clean and completely dry. Okay. Oh, when I took these out, first of all, I guess I should tell you, these ended up being in the dehydrator all night because I didn't want to get up at 2 o'clock and put them away. And sorry, yeah, we got a lot going on in the kitchen. I need to do a third load of dishes. Anyway, so... Um, once they went off this morning, then I let them cool completely because the last thing I want to do was to put them in a jar and have them create um, moisture, you know, that humidity and it will start to fog up and stuff. And I can't think of the word I'm trying to look for. But anyway, so yeah, I just pop them off of here and put them right in the jar. If something won't pop off, I just kind of do it like this. And I just continue filling up the jar. So, I've got a few more to go. But, let me show you. This one is a buttery seasoning with pepper. And this is just salt and pepper. So basically, once you put them in the jar, you're going to leave them in a nice, dark, cold place on your counter. And you're going to kind of shake it up every day. You just want to make sure that there is no moisture in there. And, uh, yeah, that's all, that's all there is. And then you're going to eat them like potato chips. It's delicious. It's like eating a zucchini. So this one actually has two zucchinis. So... If I ate all that today, I'd be eating two zucchinis. And yes, the first time I made this, me and my son both ate a full jar of zucchini. It's a great, great way to add more nutrition to your diet when you want to snack. At least you're not putting in the bad stuff, you're putting in the good stuff, even though you're snacking, right? Yeah, that's what I say. So anyway, I got more to do, but thanks for joining us today. I hope you try zucchini chips. And, you know, there's um, another channel out there, and I'm thinking I might have got this idea from her. The, the, actually, you'll probably find a lot. But the lady that I watch, I will try to remember to link her below in the comments. And, uh, yeah. And so now what we're going to do is we're just going to experiment with, with di different flavors, you know. So, anyway, thanks for joining us. Um we're glad to have you here at the girl in the garden don't forget to look for my book on amazon just go tina rich books and you'll see the books i've written and published um give me a thumbs up give me a like share all of that will greatly help my channel thank you again and i'll see you next time for another squash timber recipe have a great day